What is going on? This is Scott Magno, DJ Madflip. I'm here with UniqueSquare.com. Today we're going to talk about some of the advanced controllers out there. We're going to do a comparison, check out some of the standard features that you come to expect from the advanced controllers, and then you can decide which one's going to be best for you. Who are we playing with today? We are talking about Allen & Heath, the Zone DX. This is going to come with Serato Itch. Now we've got the Denon DNMC 6000. This is going to come with Virtual DJ LE. Next we have the Native Instruments Control S4. This is going to come with Tractor Pro. And then lastly, we have the Pioneer DDJ T1. This is also going to come with Tractor Pro Pioneer Edition. Okay, so what do they all have in common? Well, upon looking at them, you can see which ones are going to be a little smaller, which one's going to be the biggest. But what they all have in common is going to be that they can mix four decks of audio simultaneously. Uh, some of the other things, they're all going to have a master output. Whether it be XLR or quarter inch, they will all have a balanced output as well as an RCA output. Now, of the four, um, a dedicated booth output, you're only going to have in the Denon DNMC 6000 and the Zone DX. That's very, very important for a lot of you. Some of you not so much, but that's going to be available in those. Okay, now of the four, which can you use as a standalone mixer in case your software goes down or your laptop just decides to just stop working? That's going to be the Denon DNMC 6000. Now, they are all going to have input capability to pl plug in additional CDJ or turntable, uh, but of the four, you can use the Denon DNMC 6000 as a stand alone. Okay, so let's talk about some of the things that you need on your controller if you are a uh, controllerist. Um, you're going to need a really good effects section, a very good loop section, and also a very good like hot cue section so you can actually like play kicks and snares and all that. All of them are going to have that, but what I'm going to re recommend the most is going to be the Pioneer DDJ T1. Uh, that one's going to have a really good section. Those of you who are used to doing that on the other Pioneer products will feel right at home. Uh, but I'm going to favor the Native Instruments Control S4. That's going to be because the loop section is very dynamic. Uh, you can do a lot more in the software, in, in Tractor. Um, they also have a loop recorder and sample banks. So you can switch out your third and fourth uh, decks for sample banks. And uh, that's really, really nice. You can be really dynamic as a controller with the Control S4. Okay, so let's talk about scratching. If you're a turntablist, it's very important to you, something that you want to be able to do transitioning from decks and a mixer to a controller. Now, I can do scratching on the Denon DNMC 6000. That's going to be kind of a smaller jog wheel, but still very effective because it's touch sensitivity. On the Control S4, a little bit bigger, that has a very, very accurate feel uh, when it comes to doing any kind of, uh, of scratching. Um, now, the biggest jog wheels are going to be on the Pioneer DDJ T1, and um, really, really nice. Sometimes you need a little bit more room to kind of define your cuts and everything. That's going to be really nice. Um, now, the jog wheels on the DDJ T1 also have the rotating LED. Uh, you're familiar with that, the CDJ400, also a very nice jog wheel. Now, the Zone DX has the smallest jog wheels of the four does not have touch sensitivity, so you are not able to do any kind of scratching on that one. Okay, let's talk about the layout of each. I probably recommend, um, you know, if you're into the mobile scene, go with the DNMC 6000. Uh, it has conducive more to doing a lot of, um, like, mobile and karaoke stuff. The software also allows you to do video as well. Now, um, as far as being kind of a standard DJ layout, what you're used to from a, from a pair of turntables and a mixer, I'm going to recommend the Control S4 and the Pioneer DDJ T1. Okay, so we've just scratched the surface with this. There's a lot more detail that we can get into, but we just wanted to go over some of the standard features and give you a comparison so you can choose what's best for you. If you have any other questions about it, feel free to leave a comment and I will answer them personally. As always, visit us on uniquesquare.com blog. That thing is really, really banging right now. Follow us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. My name is Scott Magna, DJ Madflip. Be you, be unique at uniquesquare.com.